Welcome back to Luna Basics. In this video, we'll cover working with instrument tracks in Luna. Luna's instrument tracks allow you to play, record, and edit Luna instruments, audio unit virtual instruments, and external hardware like synths and samplers. To create a new instrument track in Luna, use the New Instrument option in the track menu, or the plus sign in the top left of the tracks list. You can also use the shortcut Command-Shift-I to create a new instrument track with shape already loaded. For this example, let's start with No Instrument Loaded by selecting None. Whereas audio tracks in Luna contain audio clips, instrument tracks contain MIDI clips which trigger the instrument loaded on that track or an external hardware instrument. Before we dive into recording MIDI, let's take a closer look at the instrument track channel strip. At the top of the channel strip is the instrument insert, where you can load Luna instruments or other instrument plugins in audio units format. Just click on the insert and use the instrument browser to the left to select an instrument. Just like the other contextual browsers in Luna, the instrument browser is searchable and can be navigated with the mouse or arrow keys. If you've selected a Luna instrument, click the preset field at the top of the list to open the instrument preset menu, where you can view and load available presets for that instrument from another searchable list. The MIDI in field below the instrument insert is used to select the MIDI input for the track. By default, it's set to all, which means that any MIDI controllers connected to the system can be used to play the instrument track. Clicking on the MIDI in field opens the MIDI input routing menu, where you can assign a specific MIDI input to the track. Below the MIDI in field is the MIDI FX insert where you can load MIDI effect plugins onto the track, including third-party audio units MIDI effects. MIDI effect plugins typically include tools like step sequencers, phrase players, and arpeggiators such as ARP, which is included for free in Luna. The MIDI out field below the MIDI FX slot is used for playing or triggering external instruments such as hardware synths or samplers. This field specifies the MIDI output for the track and is used to send MIDI to your external hardware. We'll take a deeper look at using Luna instrument tracks with external hardware instruments in a future video. The rest of the instrument channel strip mirrors the audio channel strip, with inserts for integrated tape and insert effects plugins, and controls for sends, cues, and output. If you're playing an instrument with a MIDI controller, you'll first need to set the track to record enable or input monitor to hear signal through the track. Just like audio tracks, instrument tracks benefit from Luna's Accelerated Real-Time Monitoring, or ARM, which ensures the lowest possible latency when playing virtual instruments through UAD plugins. ARM is enabled by default and can be managed using the global control at the top or in the fader section of the mixer view. We'll take a deeper look at this powerful feature in a later video. You can also play instruments with your computer keyboard by opening the MIDI workflow and enabling MIDI keyboard mode. The octave and velocity of the MIDI keyboard can be changed using the arrows in the workflow or with the Z, X, C, and V keys. Another important setting in the MIDI workflow is MIDI Merge, which controls what happens when new MIDI is recorded on top of an existing MIDI clip. MIDI Merge can be toggled using the power button in the MIDI workflow, from the transport menu, or by pressing the 9 key on the number keypad. When MIDI Merge is enabled, as it is by default, the new MIDI will be merged into the same clip with the existing MIDI, but when it's disabled, the new MIDI will replace the MIDI already in the track. To show how this works, I'm going to record a short kick drum pattern and then record a snare pattern over it. The process of recording MIDI to an instrument track is very similar to recording audio to an audio track. Just record enable the track, select the area in the timeline that you want to record to, and use the transport buttons or command spacebar to start recording. I'm going to set my recording up by selecting a two bar area to record to, then setting a one bar pre-roll to give myself a count in by holding down the option key and clicking one bar ahead of the timeline selection. Now I'm ready to record my kick pattern. Great, my kick pattern is recorded and shows up as a MIDI clip in the timeline. If MIDI merge is not enabled, any new MIDI recordings that I make on this track will overwrite any previous recordings that were at the same position in the timeline. Take a look at what happens if I try to record a snare pattern on top of my kick pattern when MIDI merge is turned off. As you can see, my snare pattern is now recorded, however it replaced my kick pattern, which isn't what I wanted. Now let's undo and try that same recording with MIDI Merge enabled. Awesome, now my snare pattern is merged into the same MIDI clip with the kick pattern already in the track. Now let's say I want to add some hi-hats or other percussion. By using Loop Record paired with MIDI Merge, I can easily record a couple of passes in a row to keep adding new elements to this loop. Take a look. Thank you. 
Now that I have my basic loop, I can quickly and non-destructively quantize the recorded MIDI by clicking the Q in the MIDI clip header and selecting a grid value from the quantize menu that appears on the left. We'll cover quantization and other MIDI editing functions in depth in the next video. Take a listen to my drum loop now that I've added a few more elements and quantized the notes to fix any timing issues. There you have it, building a MIDI loop in Luna is as simple as that. Note that I didn't use any MIDI CCs like modulation or sustain when recording this pattern, but if I did, those messages would be captured automatically during each record pass. We'll take a closer look at how to view and edit MIDI CC data in the next video. That covers this introduction to instrument tracks in Luna. Check out the next video in this series where we'll cover MIDI editing and arrangement. <laughs>